Hello everyone, in this video we are going to review the Holy Kai ID205L smartwatch. The watch is available in two color variants as of now, black and dark blue as you can see in the video. The strap can be detached like a normal watch, so you can change the strap at a local shop anytime. I bought these watches a few weeks ago from Amazon for 3299 rupees. The best buy link will be in the description, don't forget to check it out. Before talking further about the watch, let me just tell you about the accessories provided in the sales package. The sales package was quite small. It only had a charging cable and a user manual apart from the watch. The charging cable is a magnetic USB type which can be connected to a power bank or a wall adapter. Let me just show you how to connect the charger. It's pretty simple and quite fast. The watch can be fully charged within 2-3 hours and the battery will last for a week or even more depending on your usage. The charging time will vary a bit if you use a power bank. It takes an extra 30 minutes when compared with the wall adapter. We have the user manual here. The user manual has a lot of pages. I am not going to read it now, so let's skip to the last page. On the last page, we have a QR code to download an app named Verifit Pro. Later on in the video, I'll show you the app and its features. Now, let's talk about the watch and its features. First of all, I'd like to talk about the design. The watch is really good in terms of design. The strap is very well designed with a sporty look and is also quite comfortable for wearing. About the color variants, both colors are good in their own ways. I personally like the black one over the other, but it's a matter of personal choice. The watch quite looks like an Apple watch, but the lesser aspect ratio of the display and the sporty strap will tell the difference. Now, let's power up the device and we'll see some of its features. Upon powering it up, we have the dial here, it shows the time, date, battery capacity and the Bluetooth status. Swiping to the right, we have a sports tracker option. It can track a lot of activities which are shown here. It can track a lot of activities. Let's try one of these and we'll see how it works. It tracks the amount of time along with the distance and speed by using sensors and GPS. It also measures the heart rate at the same time. By combining all these data, it gives us an exact value of the amount of calories burnt and the number of steps traveled. Let's finish this and we'll see the other features. Next up, we have the heart rate monitor. The heart rate sensor is on the back side of the watch. It measures the heart rate through the wrist. The value is pretty much accurate. When compared with the BP monitor, there was only a difference of 3 BPM. Up next we have a relax feature. It can be set to 1 or 2 minutes. It is a simple breathing exercise which can be helpful at times. We can end this exercise at any point of time just by tapping the power button. Next we have an alarm feature. The watch doesn't have an inbuilt alarm but you can control your phone's alarm with this feature. Swiping down from here we have a music controller option. It only works when connected with the phone. We have the timer here. It has a stopwatch and the timer in the same option. Let's see how it works. Coming back to the menu, we have the settings here. The settings have the option to change the dial of the watch. It has 4 interchangeable dials. You can change the dial anytime with a single touch. I'll show you all the dials one by one.
Moreover, in the settings, we have an option to reduce the screen brightness in order to save battery consumption. It has three levels of brightness which you can change as per your needs. Below the brightness setting, we have the about information with software version and MAC address. Coming back to the menu, at the end we have a sports record option. Here we can keep track of all the activities we have recorded using the sports tracker. We can access a few more quick tap settings by swiping to the left from the home screen. Here we have some toggle features which can be turned on or off from here. First off we have a lift up to wake feature and after that we have the automatic heart rate monitor. We also have a DND feature here. At the end we have a function but I'm not sure what it does. Back from the home screen by swiping down it takes us to the daily record of steps tracker, distance tracker and calorie tracker. At the end we have the weekly record of all the data. Finally dragging from the top we have the notifications bar. Here we can get notifications for calls, messages and emails. We can delete all these notifications just by tapping the bin icon at the bottom. We are nearly here at the end of the video. Now I'll show you the features of the Verifit Pro app which I mentioned earlier. Here I have downloaded the app from Play Store. The link will be in the description, do check it out. Let's open the app now. The user agreement pops up here. Let's click on agree to continue. Here it asks us to turn on the Bluetooth and location in order to bind the device. After turning on Bluetooth and location, here we can find the device and link it with the app. After binding the device, it asks us to fill out some personal details like gender, height, weight, etc. After filling out all the details, it prompts us to the home page. On the home page, we can see all the data of activities, sleep and heart rate. On the next page, we have the chart data of week, month and year. Next on the device page, we have a few settings that you can change from here. Some of these settings can be only turned on or off within the app. Now I will show you each and every setting in this video. At the end, we have the user tab. Here we can change the personal details which we entered earlier or create an account in order to track all your fitness data. We can also change some system settings in here. We can also add a third party program like Google Fit in here. That's about it with the app. Now let's get back to the product. Finally, we are here at the end of the video. 
If you're looking for a smartwatch with basic features and fitness tracker under this budget, I would definitely recommend this one. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Subscribe our channel and follow us on our social media to get access to exclusive contents and updates.